Lots of people leave their religion, but leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses is a unique experience. It might not be readily apparent, but my channel originally started to promote Watchtower Doctrine. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, and I thoroughly believed that it was the truth. That's the whole bait to religion, in, in my point of view anyway. Everybody has the truth. That's the stick. Everybody has the truth. Follow us. Even my YouTube screen name resembles this intrinsic irony of certainty. It's an oxymoron. Answers don't grow on trees. There's gonna be a few roadblocks along the way, which brings me to my first problem. In my apostasy manifesto, I said that truth is the lie and certainty betrays us. What exactly do I mean by that? Truth isn't an element of copyright. It's not a trademark. Something is either true or it's not. You can't make something untrue be true, regardless of personal desire or bias. What I'm describing here is liberation from certainty. It's not easy. People say to me now that I'm dogmatic in my atheism, but I'm not trying to convince anybody not to believe in God. That's not what my atheism is about. I simply think that that is the best word to describe my perception of reality as it stands right now. I really like Thunderfoot's explanation of a pluralist, physical evidence and reasoned logic. I really like that explanation, so I might, I might start using it. It was my escape from the Watchtower that taught me the dangers of self-assurance. Once I left the Watchtower, I realized that anything was possible. Most all my views about reality and the universe were completely wrong, completely misguided assumptions. Accepting that was the hardest part. Coming to terms with one's own ignorance unsettled. This awakening led me to study things like biology and physics. It got me really interested in the world around me and how things work and what the real truths behind these mysteries of the universe really were. It filled me with a new desire, a desire for discovery. I suddenly found myself in a completely new world, a world that I was taught not to be a part of. And so I embraced it completely. The more I learned, the less significant my own problems appeared to be. That was a truly humbling experience. I never found any comfort in religion at all, but in nature and science, I was able to uncover fascinating truths. Truths that were real, solid, authentic, genuine. Religion, by contrast, was like a joke. They all seemed alike. It was all the same old tired, lame gimmicks. Lie detector, are you a good person, yes or no? And it comes with this little fella. This is uh, made with very powerful magnets. I mean, they're scary magnets. Lie detector, are you a good person, yes or no? Arrogant religious certainty. There are things that we know and things that we don't know. But I could have stopped you there because I know. You don't know. I know what was in the beginning. In the beginning, God oh. created the heavens and the earth. You don't know. I do. And outright irrationality. The boy robot! Ah! I just grew tired of all of them. And so, just like the Watchtower, I dropped belief in them as any kind of legitimate explanation for anything. None of their answers were real to me. One thing history has shown repeatedly is that the real answers are always infinitely more complex and fascinating than even the most bizarre fabrications. Leaving the Watchtower didn't make me an atheist, but it did cause me to question things more carefully. Those of you that are on the fence, don't let the watchtower control your destiny. Satan doesn't own the fence. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Satan hasn't been in the fencing business for a really long time. Satan doesn't own the fence, the watchtower does. You can succeed regardless of your theological beliefs. Whatever your theological beliefs are, 
you can succeed outside the watchtower. You don't need their dictatory control to decide how you should live your life. And if you do succeed, you will emerge much wiser and stronger than you ever would have become otherwise. And there's a lot of people here who have been through a lot worse than I have. People much stronger than me. And we've all made it. You have our testimony now. It's up to you if you truly want to take a stand for truth or if you'd rather just pretend to. Either choose your own destiny or get in line and follow the herd to slaughter. This is Anza Tree. Peace out, everybody.